what's going on scorpio gang 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 i hope all is well with you guys to my scorpio kisses mm -hmm. i love 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 you guys to the moon and back you know that to my returning og subscribers what's popping what's good what's shaking to my new to subscribe, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. We're glad that you decided to stay here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To those of you guys who send kind words, who donate to the channel, you are totally amazing. You motivate me to come back here every single day. I love you guys, love you guys, love you guys. Every time you donate to the channel, your name does go into a drawing for a raffle to have a chance to win a free personal reading with me. Another one of those is coming up. I'll let you know when. It'll probably be Thursday night. We'll see, though. I'll put it on the community board. Anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below. So let's get into it, Scorpio. I'm, I'm getting a lot of sexual energy here. This is somebody that you're not with, okay? This is somebody every time this year, around, around this year, they start pulling on your energy here sexually. Um, Scorpio, you could be masturbating. I feel like this person does nonstop with the pit with you in mind. This person has a very vivid memory. Um, I also I'm also getting to this person counted how many times y'all made love. I also get like this is sort of like a tough guy. This is somebody who don't talk about their feelings. This is somebody who masks their feelings. Okay, they mask mask their feelings for you. This is somebody too. I'm getting something about mask on the wall. Like maybe you went to Mardi Gras or something. I'm seeing somebody with like masks somewhere on their wall, like for like, um, they collect them or something like that. These could be African masks, could be Mardi Gras masks. That's very significant with whoever this person is and where they're from. I just heard. Okay. But, um, I'm getting like this person, they're someone of somewhat of like a ladies man, but they've never been kissed or touched like this. Something very significant about your essence, Scorpio, how you make this person feel in bed is translated over into a love story that this person keeps replaying in their mind and, and however they want it to end. <laughs> is how they ended and most times it's masturbation or sex with somebody else but it's the best sex in, in that person's life because this person is totally aroused okay but not by them all right let's get into this let's see what's going on for i keep hearing every time around this time so it, it, this may not be the time of year but it seems like you have a certain time that this energy starts pull, pulling on you every year at the same time Let's see what's going on, Scorp. I don't know what's going on. It says, I'm not a difficult woman. I'm a strong woman who knows my value. Yeah. So this feels... This feels like your divine masculine, um, Scorpio. I, 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 I'm I, not sure why y'all are not together. It says, decisions, I just was, wasn't ready for us. Okay, so there goes spirit telling they, this person just wasn't ready. They weren't able to commit at the time. This person could have been in another connection with somebody else. Because I was getting a whole energy of like this person. It's like after they slept with you, they had a disconnect with any other, you know, sexual connection that they had. Nothing topped what happened. This experience. No, Nobody before you and nobody after you. So it's like. When whenever this happened, every time around about the time of the year when this happened to this person, when they realize that, it's like they start pulling on your energy. Yeah, look, <laughs> you don't care, Scorpio. Wow. So yeah, I feel like this could have been one of those things where you later found out that this person was lying to you, being deceptive. They were in a third party situation. It says you activate the naughty in me. Yeah. Like this, this is this is sexual energy here with this person, and I'm not really sure yet if this person is in love, but I feel like it it translated into something um, that that's more on the obsessive side. I don't even want to say narcissist yet because I feel like what's going on is this person is is like building this up in their mind. This is years of this person like imagining 
you know, having sex with you, but being with somebody else or touching their self. So this person is, is very, uh, I don't know what I want to say. Okay. What's the overall energy? It says, I like boys and girls here. So this person could be somebody too, who was sub, um, like really having to deal with being with their sexuality. This could be somebody that was very confused about their sexuality from a young age, okay? But what I'm hearing is this person's not confused anymore. <laughs> they like boys and they like girls and they're just like and they like you, Scorpio. So you could this could be a same sex connection, don't have to be. Um but but what I'm getting is this person is able to be honest now about what thing 555 on the time about the change. Which to me is stamping this person as somebody who's working on themselves, somebody who's going within, somebody who's, this person could be coming out. <laughs> you could be the first person this person is coming out to, Scorpio. Like, I feel like this person feel like they owe this to you to tell you this, okay, is what I'm getting here. Let's see, what's the first energy on, I'm not a difficult woman, I'm a strong woman who knows my value. It says, be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this person is your divine masculine. I kind of, I, I kind of get the energy that, um, you know, when you first met this person. So that's the energy I was feeling when I was saying this was, this never felt like, this person never had this experience, okay? Maybe this is somebody, Scorpio, who's never actually slept with a woman. Okay, so like I like I'm hearing like this person was like on the down low as far as like they don't they only slept with men, but they they until you they didn't know they like girls. Okay, this is what I'm getting now. Okay, that's why you're saying I'm a difficult woman, but I know my value. But it's like this person, it's like they never had a desire to sleep with a woman. That's what I'm getting now. Okay, so now this person is is saying to their partner, I like women. And specifically, I like Scorpio. Like, I, I that's what I'm getting with this. It feels almost like when you met this person, they were married to the same sex or something like that. And and they they're not normally attracted to women. That's just what I'm getting. Let's see. What's but I, I keep hearing this is your divine masculine. Like, okay. It says true love. I'm telling you, I can't make it up. It's like that's I mean, you know, Scorpio, I'm with you. I I'm I hear you. I, I I see the wheels turning. Yeah, like okay. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. Mm. <laughs> what else? I feel like with this I like boys and girls being the overall energy. It's like this person is coming clean. They're confessing to you like, this is what was going on at the time. It wasn't that I thought you were difficult. I just never thought I'd be attracted to a woman. Like, I feel like this person want to talk about this shit. He can't talk about this to his husband or to, you know, his partner or whoever this is. And look what you get in Scorpio. Keep an open fucking mind about this true love. Like, this is translating into your counterpart. Like, I don't know. Give me one more on this. And yeah, it says you deserve love. You deserve this kind of love. I'm telling you, it's like, for one, it's new for this person. I it, it you know what it feels like? It it almost feels like this person they want to follow through with what they're feeling because. They feel as though they shouldn't be attracted to women because they've always identified as, you know, like gay, like gay. So they, they, whoever this person is, they never felt, they never saw anybody, slept with anybody, wanted to sleep with a woman, but they slept with you. And now it's like they can't stop thinking about you. This person is obsessing. This person want to talk to you and see where you at all these years later or something like that is what I'm getting. Clarify decisions. I just wasn't ready for us. Yeah, see, at the time, this person couldn't tell you I'm married to a man. I'm getting that. Or, like, just explain this in depth like they're coming to explain now. 
I feel like now they don't have anything to lose, everything to gain is what I'm getting here. Yeah, it says trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Scorpio. This is on your decision making with this person. Because it's your counterpart. I mean, it's up to you. It says, give your relationship a chance worth. It says, work on your partnership. So the universe is saying this, you know, this your person come, come back whole, healed. Speaking in truth, you can trust them. Like, now they're not holding anything back. What else? This person, and it is crazy because... This person want to talk to you, Scorpio, because they really don't, they're not attracted to men now. That That's the conflict. Like, that's that's where they, that's why they can't go, they can't, they can't talk to their partner about this yet because they're unattracted to the partner now. They don't want to have sex. And if they do, they have to imagine you to even be able to get aroused with this person is what I'm getting. Like, this, it's, it's not good. It says, take time to breathe out, disseminate and moon. Yeah, it's like this person ain't breathing. It's like the whole while, ever since you, it's like they're not gay anymore is what they're feeling. I don't know. Like, why am I feeling? This person, they, they, they have to come see you. They have to act on this because, like, why is this happening? Am I tripping? Let me, let me see. Is this, like, they want to revisit this shit. It says it's time to take action. Yeah, they, they want to revisit. This person's showing up, Scorpio. It's like whatever this 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 time is, because I feel like they start pulling on your sexual energy every time around this year, every time around a certain year. But this time, this person is not it's not enough to just masturbate. Now it's it's got to be they want to make sure that they're not gay. They want to confirm this with you or something like that is what I'm getting. It says I don't care. Hmm. What you don't care about, Scorpio? What is this, Scorpio? I don't care about. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like you, you, you're going to have to get out of your way with this one or something like that. I feel like the red flags are just how you see in the situation here. It says, it's time to release negativity. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing this is your person. I'm hearing this is your person. I'm, I'm hearing divine timing and everything. Yeah, messages of concern coming out in the reverse. You don't have to be concerned about this person. You really don't. This person, this person is who they say they are. <laughs> yeah, look. You and this person are going to have a newfound type of love. This ain't going to be like how it was when y'all were together. Because this person is, they're really actually seeing him proclaiming they're not gay. Yeah, look, the family card came out. You activate the naughty in me. Um, retreat is here. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. That's what this person wants with you. This person, yeah, look, wedding. All these cards flipped over. I'm taking them. This person no longer is in interested in the same sex. Like, I don't know how however much I can say this shit. Like, they just not. And it's, it's as weird to them as it is to any fucking body. What else here? This person got to let their partner know, though. Like, for real? Because here go the honeymoon. So, it, it's like, Scorpio, I feel like you change your mind. You realize this is your divine counterpart. Like, period. Because it's, 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 this is divine time, and this is a divine union here. It says, love yourself first. Okay? So, so... Scorpio, I feel like this is why you choose this person again, because I feel like the love that you have for yourself makes you want to be with somebody you can trust. And I feel like you, you, you really take this person as somebody very honest, somebody very truthful here. Okay. The courage that they had to come out to you, the courage that it's going to take for them to go tell somebody they've been with for years. I'm no longer gay. It's almost like a reverse coming out or like this person got to come out to you and they, you know, Scorpio tell you they want to be with you. They don't want to be with guys anymore. And then they got to go tell this guy that they never want to be gay. They're not gay. This was something I was going through. So I'm, I'm getting that because the connection between y'all so strong. It's like he can't, this person can't fight it anymore. 
it, it's not worth them fighting it anymore. It's, it, it takes too much energy. It takes too much for them to be able to, you know, fit into this life now. They they no longer feel aroused. I, I'm just getting this. It's like, yeah, look, separation. You activate the everything in this person. Okay, the naughty in them meaning the truth. The real me. Everybody know the naughty in you is who you really are. So this person is like, ever since they had an encounter with you, Scorpio, they've been, they've been not, they've been playing this role that's not authentic. They're not happy there, and they don't, and they don't want to be there, but they want to, they want to make sure they can be with you. And obviously, it looks like this is happening. It says the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini here. Yeah, I feel like you just come to the conclusion that this is best for you. Because it is. It really, it truly is. This is your person. This person could have long, dark hair. Um, This person could have a beard. This person could have tattoos, piercings. I'm getting that too. Okay, this is somebody who, you know, they wouldn't have a traditional job. This is like an artist or like a, could be somebody who plays instruments, tattoo artists. Artists that paint something like that. I just get somebody who's an entrepreneur, freelancer. They don't clock in or clock out. Okay, it says a new romantic cycle begins. There, there you go, right there, Scorpio. There it is. Let's get into the tarot. So, under overall energy on the bottom of the deck says your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So the first quarter moon could be significant of like the time when this person starts pulling on your energy. Cause the, and I feel like it's, it's, it's really a cultist in nature because this person is imagining you. So it's almost like they're casting a spell and then they're, they're, they're having to do that to be able to sleep with somebody like, yeah, that's obsessive energy here. Um, but you're all this person that thought about all these years and it used to work. You know, it used to work that they imagined you. They had a vivid um, picture of you, like a moving picture, like a movie. Um, and now that's not working. They're not able to pull on your energy anymore. This person, and they're not able to have sex with their husband. They're no longer aroused. That's what I'm getting here, Scorpio. All right, let's get into the tarot here. So the first energy is I'm not I'm not a difficult woman. I'm a strong woman who knows my value. Clarify this. I feel like this person is going through a lot of turmoil. Has gone through a lot of turmoil since since y'all's breakup or y'all disconnect. Um person never stop watching you never stop thinking whatever it is they think about you i feel like they're very unclear about it okay yeah judgment this person definitely coming back for a reconciliation here um the judgment is talking uh, judgment talks about an inner calling too so i feel like at some point it's something about your divine feminine energy that connects with this divine masculine something something says yes okay is what I'm really getting with this um, judgment card. It's an inner calling to know that this is your person here. Yeah, the moon is coming out in the reverse. I'm telling you, it's something about that moon that, um, what was it, a full quarter, first quarter moon? Something about that is very significant with this person and y'all. Something very ritualistic about a, uh, about a um, some type of moon cycle. The first quarter moon is, yeah, it's like, it's something spiritual there. I'm getting something very divine, something that it's almost like something you see or hear or feel this one thing and it changes your mind about this person is what I'm getting here. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> this person, this person is, this person is quickly aware that there's nothing wrong with their member down there. Like as soon as they set eyes on you, this person is once they're in your your live, moving, thriving energy. This person is aroused in, in ways that they've never been aroused before. And I ain't talking about they member down there, but it's working, okay. And everything else is working with it, okay. This person is identifying with being your counterpart, Scorpio. Just period. It says decisions. Decisions. I just wasn't ready for us. Now they are. 
I'm not sure how this plays out. Like, do they come to you first and confess this? Or do they tell their partner first? Because I, I feel like this person is just on a mission to set themselves free of bondage, of, of just being like crazy without you, Scorpio type energy. Yeah, look, the Ace of Wands. It just wasn't the time. And now it's like this person is, is feeling very inspired by y'all's connection and uninspired in other places. They're just not happy with it yet. And they can't make themselves happy anymore. Yeah, the two of cups. This person knows you're their person. You're their divine counterpart. You know? And I just feel like it's this person, they really had it in a context of like sexual energy, but really they're understanding that this is divine union. It's not about the sex part. It's just about the chemistry, the connection of you two. Okay, this could be past life connection as well because it's very overpowering. It made this person, yeah, look, the Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. It made this person leave the whole lifestyle that they were in. Okay, this person is coming in with a with a very, with an offer of divine union here. Okay, this person is very honest. They're very trustworthy. This person... They want to move forward with you in spirit and truth, not in bullshit. Like, this person is coming out to you, and I don't know if they came out to the person yet that they married to, but they're going to have to. And this could be you saying you don't give a fuck if they do or don't. Like, you made up your mind, this is who you're going to be with, y'all going to be together, and that's what it is. Fuck what people talking about. Yeah, the four cups in reverse on I don't care. It's like, why miss out on the opportunity? Because people going to talk, they're going to talk anyway. It's how do you feel about the situation, and I feel like you move forward with this person. What else on I don't care? The king of wands. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is this is somebody who, like, they could be a Sagittarius, Aries, a Leo, but this is somebody who's more of an authority type figure. This is somebody who is very conscious of their thoughts, how things make them feel. Um, this is somebody who's very practical, but very action oriented. 22, 22 on the timer. This is somebody too that don't sit around and wait for shit to fall in their lap. This, this somebody, whoever this person is, they're taking action towards you. They're coming towards you just period to make this offer. Yeah, the chariot. This, this person, it's no shame in their game. It's like. They're totally repulsed with the, the actual life that they're living right now. They're, they're not happy at all where they at. They haven't been happy since they had this encounter with you, Scorpio. For some of y'all, I'm getting this. This isn't same sex, but for most, this is same sex. This is somebody leaving behind all they ever knew. because Not because of no stupid shit, though. It's on some shit like... You they person. So take that how it resonates. Like this person no longer wants to be gay. They're not interested in it. Don't turn them on. This is somebody who. I don't know. Maybe they had issues growing up. I don't know. That made them feel like they were gay. Or I don't know guys. I'm just getting this energy. Like this person don't want to be in a same sex connection anymore. Okay. You activate the naughty in me. The Three of Swords. That's that third party energy. That's this person being torn between you and the life that they used to lead. Meaning, like this person was, it, it feels like this person was okay honoring their same sex marriage as long as they were able to envision you and be able to masturbate, get off, get aroused. You know, it made a better sex life for this person. Now, energetically, too, what I'm getting is. The sex that that your, that this person is having with the same sex has gotten so passionate and so, you know, like uh, uh, whatever, however sexuality y'all had together, whatever this was, like this person is reenacting this. So this person they married to is thinking their marriage is like developing into something, you know, more more connected, more powered up, more power couple type shit. Like, they're thinking this shit is, is being br uh, breathed life in by the universe. And it's like, nah. They just wish they was fucking Scorpio. And it's like... 
So yeah, I feel like I feel like it's gonna I feel like it's gonna be a hard time this person expressing this to who they married. I just feel like you honestly don't give a fuck. Um clarify activate the naughty in me. Got the three of swords. The nine of wands is coming out in the reverse. Yeah, it's like this person don't wanna they don't wanna continue, they don't wanna continue in this connection. They wanna be with you, Scorpio. Yeah, the ten of swords, they end this shit. And I feel like it is a painful ending, a painful betrayal. I feel like, you know, their fa this person's family, the other person's family, like, I feel like it's it's a big, it's a big axe. It's a big, like, decision this person making to move on forward with you, Scorpio. But it's the best decision y'all could have ever made in y'all life. Um, What's the advice here? This person is, this person loves the fact that when they're with you, they're just themselves and they're, they don't have to do anything artificial to stimulate themselves. They don't have to think about nobody else. It's all about them being there with you. This person is present when they're with you. And that's how they know that you're, you know, you're different, Scorpio. Yeah, the Eight of Cups overall energy. This is, this person had to walk away from this marriage, just period. Um, the queen of wands is here. Yeah. It's like this person, they never met anybody with your type of confidence, your type of leadership skills as well. Like them, you're very action oriented. You're beautiful. You know, your worth. And the thing about this person is it's not about confusion at this point. Now it's about being connected to you because they know that you're their person. That's the one thing about this. They don't have to question Scorpio. So the three of wands is here. This person is, this person walked away from all they knew to walk into something, walk into the future with you. Okay. Um, with the three of wands and the queen of wands. And this person realizes that like without you, they couldn't walk into whatever this is. They wouldn't have felt, they wouldn't have trusted anybody else. It's something about y'all's encounter Scorpio that made this person know that they can count on you that like you are a stand up type person that you wouldn't try to hurt them or you know like whatever happened between y'all it was it was nothing that you like purposely did it, this person knows this wasn't a spell this is just a divine feminine woman this is something he never experienced maybe that's why he was I don't know y'all I ain't gonna say that cause I feel like you know I'll leave that alone the overall energy is the Queen of Cups. This person loves the way you nurtured them, the way you made them feel. I can't make this shit up. There it is again. Like, maybe this person had money, um, mommy issues, daddy issues. I don't know. And it's like, but but with you, it's like, so damn, a woman can really be this nurturing, this smart, this independent Um you know, you name it, you're like checking off all these boxes and this person is like, they're not giving this shit up. They 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 don't want to be where they are. Just period. Okay. So this person, you and this person, um, I feel like you walk away from something too because I keep hearing walked away from all I know. I feel like that's both of y'all energy to be with each other, but that's it's purpose. It's divine timing, divine union here. Let's get something on your finances, Scorpio, and then we're going to... Close out here. Got the hustle deck. Any messages for Scorpio's business or finances here, career? bottom of the deck it says dust it off and try it again even your money i <laughs> read telling you to dust this shit off and try it again this your person scorpio just period all right it says this is your year 2024 i've been saying it money magnet i'm telling this person comes in with a serious offer this job is trash. Move on. A lot of you Scorpios are going to be entrepreneurs this year. I spoke it. I've been speaking it for three years, okay? You're not meant to work on somebody's job. You're too creative. A creative can't be put in a box, in a time schedule. It just won't work. Avoid get quick, uh, get rich quick schemes. You're on the right path here. 
toxic work environment. Yeah, it's like you just don't fit in anymore. If you if you're on somebody's job, it's gonna feel toxic as fuck because you you just it's aggravating now. You're creative. You want to be out and about and creating. Invest in stocks. Get off your ass. Get shit done, Scorpio. It says use your skills to create. I'm telling you, use your skills to start this business. You're pulling fraud. Okay, be very careful, Scorpio, about who you talk to when it comes to business. And it says prepare. The best is yet to come. All right, Scorpio, if you guys are still with me, like, subscribe, join the membership, let those ads play. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.